Okay, so I have just had a crazy, crazy epiphany, and I just have to come on here and say what this epiphany is, because even though I clearly have new makeup on my face, have whatever going on here with my hair, my hair is completely wet, I'm, and I have no time because I'm trying to get James to church, and I'm already late. So, and also I have groceries to shop for and a birthday party to attend today. So I'm like in a crazy hurry, but I absolutely had to sit, record this because it's just too amazing. So I was in the shower today where all epiphanies happen because your body is in theta, your brain, your brain waves are in theta. So of course, amazing epiphanies. That's where you get all epiphanies. Same as when you meditate. Okay, so I'm in the shower. I get in the shower and I have just been gone for five days. Five days of being gone. I had Rebecca here. Shout out to amazing Rebecca. She came home, the house was all tidied and uh, holy cow, incredible. The boys had so much fun. Everything was taken care of. The dogs are loved. Oh my gosh, so this amazing time, right? So here has been this wonderful woman came into my home, totally took care of it for the whole week. Hold on. I gotta get the points on my lips because I love them. All right, so here's this wonderful woman, came in. Seriously, like the house looks amazing. She's amazing. Uh, and here I come in and I'm like, oh my gosh. Turns out, guess what? It's Saturday. What does that mean? The house needs cleaned. Because it's been lived in for the whole week. And of course, what happens when you've lived in a house for a whole week? It dang needs cleaned. So I had, this is my epiphany. I actually don't clean my house anymore because I kind of hate cleaning my house. So I just stopped, but then I also didn't have the cash for house cleaner. So I do my house cleaning in a really, uh, a different way, kind of based a little bit off Fly Lady. Uh, if you know who Fly Lady is, she's pretty great. She does like zone cleaning and like all this great, uh, breaking your cleaning up and doing it regularly so that your house is like freaking spotless. I obviously don't do her full plan because that's not ever the case in my house, but She's got great ideas for like breaking stuff up and staying on top of stuff. So here I come home after being home for away for five days and I realize I do a totally different thing with my house than I've ever done and I'm freaking in love with it. Just like, oh my gosh. I mean, so in love with it. It's outrageous. So here's what I do. I, uh... I don't do anything all at once. So the, the tragedy for me has always been, it turns out one bathroom, let's just take the bathroom for instance, since that's where I had the epiphany. One bathroom serving four people, two adults, two boys, taking showers all the time. I mean, we use that bathroom pretty well. One bathroom basically needs cleaned once a week, right? So I was gone for a week, it's now time to clean it. The thing that struck me was uh, because of the way that I do my cleaning, uh, I actually don't ever have to clean the bathroom. I never clean my bathroom. So I was really surprised to come home and be like, what? What happened to this house? Why is this bathroom such a mess? Hold on, I have to open the door. Jamesy, come in the other door. What? Come in the other door. Okay, so it wasn't because the bathroom was a mess. It was only just lightly dirty, you know, like it needs cleaned because it's been a week. Not a mess. Totally fine. Perfectly acceptable levels of clean, like dirt. No problems whatsoever. But for me, I'm like, this is crazy. James, are you okay? Yeah. Can you open the door? No. Oh, okay. Hold on. So this is what I realized. Why is... Why do I feel like my house is so dirty when it's only just one week of dirt? And obviously it's not really that dirty. Come on. 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 Come on
come to find out, I never have it dirty, ever, ever. It's never all dirty at once, and here's why. I only do my cleaning in tiny, tiny, tiny chunks. So I take my bathroom and I have the back wall in my bathroom and then a wall over here and a wall over here. Then you have the part, the tub part down here and that's one, two, three, four, five, six surfaces. If you go six surfaces, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the tub part and then those are the walls. Okay, so I take that and I just clean one of those each day. This one day. It does not take very long, very short amount of time. Then I clean this side the next day, half of the big wall. Then the next day after that, I clean this side. Then the day after that, I clean this side. Then I clean this half of the tub, not hard. And then this half of the tub, also not hard. Then on the other side, I have two shower doors, like top half, bottom half, top half, bottom half. And I clean them like this. This is the one that's closest to the sprayer, okay? So the spray comes down, lightly hits this, really hits this. So I clean them like this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, over here. This half of the second shower door. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then, this is brilliant. This half is getting dirty again. So I go back to this. Thursday, Friday. This half stays the cleanest the whole over the whole week. This is Saturday. Okay, so wait, go again. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, shower doors. Okay, you can imagine that does not take very long to clean a half of half of your shower door, right? Like it's very fast. And I don't even use cleaner, I use shampoo. So I just squirt on my shampoo onto a rag, that, a scrubby rag, a green scrubby rag that lives in my lives in a little cup in my shower and I just I put it on my hair and then I have to leave it for two minutes so I wash and then I rinse out I mean it doesn't even take two minutes I wash my body and then I wash the doors and then bam it's done I don't even realize that I am washing my shower because it's just part of my shower it's just like no big deal nothing barely anything going on hardly hardly anything happening there because it took like how long so uh, I do my one part here and then one little corner like here of the outside shower door right so this is Monday would be this part where the shower spray comes out and then this part down here so fast anyway here's the deal this is what made me feel like I was always 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 in a dirty house is that I only clean my house once a week, basically, because four people, like, that's pretty much how long it takes. It's not, not much longer than that. Oh, look, what I need is right here. Um, I've still not gathered myself from the trip. So, I have to, yeah, that's it. Just super quick. Do those things. Then also my toilet. I, like, wash the top and the tank one day. Then I wash out the inside the next day. And then I wash, like, only one side of the bottom one day. And then only one side of the bottom the next day. And then repeat, like, over and over and over. Skipping the ones that are dirty. Going to the ones that are clean. It's so amazing. And I just realized getting back and being like, whoa. Whoa. Okay, now my whole house is dirty at the same time. And it's not that dirty because it's been kept up on. Like, it's not a dirty house. But I'm so not used to having it all dirty at the same time. Like, I literally never have my house all dirty at the same time. There's only like one-sixth of it that's dirty. Oh, here's little Oreo. James is holding Oreo up for us to see. Um, so yeah, there's never a day when I get in my shower, except for today, and the whole thing is dirty. There's only ever one sixth of it that is ready to be cleaned. And that is magical. I love it. 
I have never been happier with my cleaning routine and I just didn't realize, like I knew that yes, it's magical and I'm feeling really, really satisfied about it, but I didn't put it together that that is like why I'm feeling so satisfied because my house is literally only ever, like it's always clean seven sixths of the way. And I can, I have like, tolerance for one sixth dirty like I can handle that it doesn't feel dirty to me and there what, what I was doing before when I was cleaning it once a week yes it was getting clean that's an acceptable level of clean nobody's gonna fuss at you if you have clean your bathroom once a week but on that terrifying day when you get up and you're all bleary eyed and you're like ah oh, I just need to go take a shower and you get in the shower and it's the day when everything needs cleaned the next day. And so it's all like noticeably dirty. Not a huge amount, but just like, oh, this shower is ready to be cleaned. It's obviously not perfect. And so on that day, every week, it would get stuck in my head like, oh, my house is so filthy. I hate this. I'm a terrible terrible cleaner. I can never keep up on these things. I'm always behind. And I would feel like that. I have felt like that most of my life, basically, like just, oh my gosh, I'm such a life failure because I can't keep my house clean. But it wasn't that I was keeping it clean. It was clean. It was just that on that sixth day, before you clean it, it feels dirty because it's ready to be cleaned. So now I never have that feeling. I never feel like, oh, my house is so dirty. I always feel like, oh, my house looks lovely. Um, because I only, there's, and there's that little tiny one sixth of it, because I break everything up into six. I break the rooms up into six. I break the dusting up into six. I break, uh, I break everything up into six. So there's never a day when all of those parts, except for when I was gone just now, need to be cleaned. Um, and it's brilliant and I love it and wow, if I could even, like, things I wish I knew. I think I'm going to title this, things I wish I knew because dang it, I wish I had known that. If I had known that you only have to do a tiny bit, but just do a tiny bit every single day, gosh dang, I would have been so happy because I really, like, the thing that always sticks in my mind is that sixth day right before you clean. That's the worst. And so now I never have a sixth day ever, 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 ever. So I've, I've been doing this since I moved into this house and I just feel like, wow, this house is so much cleaner than all the rest of the houses. But really it's just this new fangled idea that I've been doing. And this house has never had a chance to get dirty because I started right when I moved in cleaning one sixth of it, right? Like the bathroom floor, I just clean a little tiny bit of it every day. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Like literally, if you break your bathroom floor up into six parts, like, come on people, how many, how much space do you have to do? Do you have a giant bathroom? Even if you have a giant bathroom, it's still a really small amount. Like it does not take you very long to get around that amount. So that's my tip for the day. Break your house up into tiny spots. Hi James. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's an epiphany. Everyone should do it. You will never feel like you have to clean your house again. And it is the best feeling ever. James would like you to see our other dog. This is Checkers. So a little goodbye from Checky. Checkers, say goodbye. Goodbye.